As New York prepares for legal recreational marijuana sales to get underway, new rules were announced today about how those products can and cannot be packaged. And the goal is to make sure that cannabis companies are not targeting children. Fox 5's Matt King breaks down what is and is not allowed. No Joe Camel here in New York State Cannabis. For a decade, Joe Camel, a cool, cartoonish, cigarette-smoking camelid, sold the world camel cigarettes from billboards and magazine pages before a lawsuit arguing the camel intentionally groomed children to be future smokers led to Joe's demise. When devising New York State's rules for marijuana marketing and packaging, New York State Office of Cannabis Management Executive Director Chris Alexander's department sought to prevent any cannabis company from even unintentionally advertising its product to children. Making sure that the packaging around cannabis products is not... Uh, cartoon-like in nature or attractive to children in that way. Oh, I think it's very good that they don't want cartoon characters and things that become appealing to children. Empire State Normal Executive and Legal Director and New York City Cannabis Industry Association co-founder David Holland zoomed with us from the Cannabis World Congress Business Expo at the Javits Center Thursday. You can see that we're all here. And while he agreed the state ought to ban Joe Camels holding joints instead of cigarettes, he found some of the other drafted marketing and packaging requirements too restrictive. I think that they're well-intentioned, but there's some that really are, are hard to fathom. Restricting um, uh, billboards, for example. The rules would forbid cannabis sellers from advertising on billboards within 500 feet of schools, daycares, playgrounds, public parks, or libraries. Advertisers may not use the words organic, craft, weed, pot, or stoner. Making sure you know what you're putting into your body, is, it, it has to be clear. The state would also require all packaging to prominently feature the universal THC symbol. It's going to be very limiting on people's creativity. Holland worried, to start, cannabis companies might struggle to establish individual brands. How are people going to package their products in a way that are identifiable. There's still tons of space uh, uh, for um, businesses to be creative in their packaging. Alexander also stressed he and his team prioritize public health over branding. The rules now enter a 60-day public comment period before going into effect. Alexander expected to issue the first recreational dispensary licenses by the fall, so the first dispensaries might open before the end of the year. I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.